This is the Kingston Y drive, and this thing is really, really cool. That's it, that's the whole video. I'm gonna just leave. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, so the Y drive, what's cool about it? The Y drive allows you to share your media content with up to three devices simultaneously using this as a portable wireless access point. Now, what's cool about the Y drive compared to other competing solutions is that the Y drive allows you to connect to its Wi-Fi access point and still browse the internet on your mobile device. I know, right? So it allows upstream and downstream connections to Wi-Fi access points. So basically what I'm doing is I have my router in my house. I have the Y drive sitting on the table next to me. And then I have my iPhone somewhere in the same room. So I'm connecting my iPhone to the Y drive. I'm connecting the Y drive to the router. And through that, I'm able to access the media that I'm sharing on the Y drive and I'm also able to access the internet. Now, it will feel a little bit slower because it is being relayed, but for the sake of being able to access your media content and the internet at the same time, I think it is worth the additional delay. So, Y-Drive is uh, available on the App Store. There is an app for the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. Okay, there's also no other information on here at all. Let's have a look at what's included with the Y-Drive. So, we've got a wall adapter comes out like that, lock and load, kind of has a very satisfying click sound to it. Anyway, uh, there's also a USB charger. So the Y drive, as I mentioned before, supports up to three consecutive users. And I have a bunch of notes about things like battery life, but I forgot to print them out and I forgot to load them up on my phone. So you guys are going to have to bear with me for a second. We're going to turn the camera off and I'm going to look up my cheat sheet. So here's the Y drive unit itself. It is backed by a one-year warranty from Kingston with 24-7 tech support, so that's something to bear in mind. It is also a pocket-sized device, so actually, here, why don't I compare it to the iPhone? So it's basically like carrying around another iPhone, and all you're doing is you are increasing the storage capacity, whether it's by 16 gigs or by 32 gigs. So my box says 32 gigs, but this unit itself is actually a 16 gig unit just because it's an eval. So it was not really a miss in the correct in the correct box. Now you can see up here at the top of the Y drive, that's where the USB port is. So you can either use that for charging the device and the battery lasts for up to four hours or you can use it to transfer data to the Y drive from your home computer, whether it's a PC or a Macintosh. So over here, we've also got a power button, what appears to be a little reset switch recess. Okay, down on the bottom, we find nothing. Over on the left, we find nothing. Here we find a little tab so that we can put it down on the table ah, without ruining the finish of the Y drive unit itself. Uh, oh, yeah, also of note, uh, compared to competing solutions, the Y drive is fairly low capacity, so that's uh, something we have to live with because it is an SSD based device. So that means that in terms of durability, I can very comfortably drop the Y drive. No, and I, 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 still, I don't recommend doing this to yours. Yes, you have a one year warranty, but don't like chuck it around. But I can be confident that even if the casing is damaged, if I drop it down on the concrete, the actual data inside of it should be very safe because it is a solid state based storage medium. So this particular one has a 16 gig SSD in it. There is a 32 gig available. And I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say about the Y drive. So in summary, there's an app, okay? Um, it allows you to extend the storage of your iOS device. You can access it with up to three users at a time for up to four hours, and it is a solid state based storage device, which means your data will be safe. Thanks for checking out this unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.